Busy Computer Science at Oberkriesling TV. Hi kids, I am Isa. I am here today on another episode of Busy Computer Science at Oberkriesling TV. On today's episode, we are going to discuss another interesting topic, which is introduction to computer types and features of computers. Let's start with the topic outline. Topics outline. 1. Definition of computer. 2. Stages of computer operation. 3. Major classifications of computer. 4. Characteristics features of computer. 5. Areas and fields where computers are useful. What is computer? The term computer is derived from the Latin word computer, which means to calculate, to count, to sum up or to think together. Hence, a computer is an electronic device that accepts data as input, processes it, and then produces information as output using a set of instructions or programs. So far, it is a device designed to work with information. Stages of computer operation. Computer passes through three stages in processing its data to give information. They are 1. Input stage 2. Processing stage 3. Output stage 1. Input stage This is the first stage of computer versus data. It is the stage when the data is typed or fed into the computer through the help of input devices like keyboard, mouse, light pen, and so on. 2. Processing stage It is the second stage in which computer is to process and turn the data typed or sent into it to information through the help of a central processing unit or CPU. 3. Output stage This is the third and the last stage in which the data typed or fed into the computer is given back to us or shown as information through the help of output device like screen, also known as monitor or VDU, visual display unit. Classification of computer Kids! Computer can be classified according to their technology use and sizes. Classification of computer according to their technology use. Computers according to their technology use can further be divided into three categories. 1. Digital computers. 2. Analog computers. 3. Hybrid computers. 1. Digital computers. Digital computers, these are mainly general purpose computers that can store data in discrete quantities or numbers where all processing is done in terms of numeric representation of binary digits of data and information. The user enters the data in decimal or in character form. It is converted into binary digits of zeros and ones. Good examples of digital computer are PCs, laptops, modern smartphones, mobile phones, radio, and megaphones. Number 2. Analog computers. These computers are programmed for measuring physical quantities like pressure, temperature, speed, etc. They are also special purpose computers 
that represent and store data in varying physical quantities such as current, voltage or frequency. They are mainly used for scientific and engineering applications. Examples of analog computers are thermometer. It is a simple analog computer used to measure temperature. Speedometer. Like a car speedometer where the position of the needle on dial represents the speed of the car. A three hybrid computers. An hybrid computer comprises of both analog and digital computers. These computers store and process analog signals which have been converted into discrete numbers using analog to digital converters. You can also convert digital numbers into analog signals or physical properties using digital to analog converters. They are mainly used in artificial intelligence, robotics and computer aided manufacturing like process control. Good examples of hybrid computers are money counting machines and automated teller machines ATM. Break time! Welcome back kids! Classification of computer by sizes. Computers according to their sizes can be classified into the following. 1. Microcomputers 2. Mini computers 3. Mainframe computers 4. Supercomputers 1. Microcomputers Microcomputers are also called personal computers or PCs. They use microprocessor as their CPU, memory unit, input devices and output devices. They are small in size and do not have large storage capacities. They can perform many tasks like calculations, industrial control, home appliances, desktop publishing, graphics designing and product management. Examples of microcomputers are desktops and portables like IBM, modern desktop computers, video game consoles, laptops, tablet PCs, and many types of handheld devices including mobile phones, pocket calculators, and industrial embedded systems are all microcomputers. 2. Mini computers. These class of computers are faster and more powerful than microcomputers. They can perform more complex tasks and cost more than microcomputers. They are larger in size and their storage capacity is small to medium. They can be used for payroll preparation, accounting and scientific computation, controlling and monitoring production processes. Smartphones, tablets, iPads, drawing tables, desktops and mini PCs are all considered as mini computers. 3. Mainframes computers. Mainframes computers are more powerful than mini computers. They have high processing speeds and can store large amounts of data. They are useful in research organizations, large industries, large business and government organizations, banks and airline reservations where large databases is needed. However, these computers consume more electricity. Examples are IVM 2000 series and Univac. Universal Automatic Computer. 4. Supercomputers. These are the largest and the fastest computers. They are very expensive and has a number of CPUs which operate in parallel to make it faster. They are used for weather forecasting, biomedical research, aircraft design and automobile design, massive data processing and solving very sophisticated problems in the field of science and defense.
Für Example Sabelle. Deep Blue. Hydra for playing chess. Gravity Pipe for Astrophysics. Features and characteristics of computers. The following are the major characteristics of computers. 1. Accuracy. Unlike human beings, computers are very accurate. They don't make mistakes. A computer can work for very long periods without going wrong. However, when an error occurs, the computer has a number of inbuilt self-checking features in their electronic components that can detect and correct such errors. 2. Speed Computers operate at very high speeds and can perform many functions within a very short time. They can perform a much complicated task much faster than human being. 3. Reliability Computers are reliable to produce the correct answer if it is given the correct instructions and supplied with the correct data. 4. Storage A computer is capable of storing large amounts of data or instructions in very small space. A computer can store data and instructions for later use and they can produce and receive the data when required so that the user can make use of it. Data stored in the computer can be protected from unauthorized individuals through the use of passwords. 5. Consistency This means when a computer is given the same data and the same instructions, they will produce the same answer every time that particular process is repeated. 6. Diligence Computers are unlike humans. They can work continuously without getting tired or bored. Even if it has to do a million of calculations, Everything will be done with the same speed and accuracy as the first one. 7. Automation A computer is an automatic device. This is because, once given the instructions, it is guided by these instructions and can carry on its job automatically until it is complete. 8. Versatile. A computer can be used in different places to perform a large number of different jobs depending on the instructions fed to it. Areas and fields where computers are useful. Computers can be used in the following fields. Education, health and medicine, science, in businesses, Recreation and entertainment, government power status, defense, sports, recording information, writers, safety, and so on. Kids, hope you enjoyed our topic for today on basic computer science at Obakid Link TV. If you really enjoyed our topic, can you subscribe to our channel Obakid Link TV? on YouTube, Facebook and Instagram.